STI in the house. We've got some much needed lighting upgrades. This car is a 2015. I cracked one of the taillights because the welds on my gate broke. The gate almost fell and crunched the whole rear quarter of the car. I was able to catch it. Call for my girlfriend to help. All that happened was it cracked the taillight. We got some new taillights from Vland. New headlights with the sequential turn signal I'm excited about. The headlights are a little bit grungy because they're older. They've had a lot of sun UVs baked into them. So they're a little bit yellowing to the point where even if you do a restoration kit doesn't necessarily get that full clarity so I want to get these on ceramic coat them possibly even have Rick at cactus tint PPF them at some point so they stay in great shape for a long time but let's unbox them and install them and check out how sweet they look let's start with the tail lights really nice packaging so they don't get damaged plug and play Wow these should look really nice it even has the nice foam so water doesn't get in. Connector ready to go. I'll take both of them off and then I'll put it back on. I really haven't been able to do as much as I want to this car as fast as I want to. Just because investing so much, basically everything, into karmaspeed.com. The designers for the websites, the advertising, the team, the Supra to grow that catalog of parts because there's potential there and I'm interested. It's not that I don't like this car because I still own this car for a reason. I'm not selling it because I really do like it. I'm just playing the long game with it. But ooh, these are heavy. These are full. Wow. These are not some cheap headlights. That's for sure. I'm going to put this on the ground and pull everything up. So I say all that just to let you know that I definitely do have long game plans for this car. I do like making content on it. I do love driving it still. It's definitely one of the most mechanical feeling cars that has like newer technology. And I just love STIs, they're my, my jam since I was a little kid. This looks like we got some plug and play connectors, a manual, sweet. Got the projector, these sequentials are gonna look really cool. I've never had nice headlights like this that are aftermarket. These are really nice. I don't really wanna take this off. But I'll put it back on. I'm gonna give you an up close look on the details on these, then we'll get straight to the install. I have links in the description to save you the most money possible. Really good deal because you're finding out about these through this video. So I'll have the information on the screen about what you can save with the link in the description. You can buy this setup as a kit and by the end of it, Hopefully you like the look and you can put it on your own car and feel confident. My whole thing is helping build up your confidence. I'm not sure what this install is gonna be like, but we're gonna push through, get uncomfortable, figure it out. And by the end, we'll feel good about it. We'll be stoked. And that's what I want for you on the other side of the screen. So let's take a look and get after it. Starting out on the rear. These tail lights are pretty straightforward. Mine doesn't have any clips because they broke, so you just take that off. And then you need to pull this back. Some of you might have some clips up there also. This is 2015, so she's not exactly having all the plastic clips. Got some extra wiring going on here from my third F1 style tail light that I used to have. Pull the plug out. These are eight millimeter nuts. Got my bolster, set it in the trunk. My power ratchet, love this thing, or you can use a regular one. You don't need fancy tools, but I like them. And it gives you something to work towards if you don't have them yet. Okay, I got it loose. Once the tail light is dislodged, then you slide it back and it will slide out of this plastic clip right here. Now I'm gonna thread through my wiring, carefully place this where it needs to go. There we go. Line everything up. Plug and play adapter. No need to even show you. That's clipped in. Let's see if it works. Oh, you see that? Mm. Like, the stock tail lights aren't a bad look. These are just a fun upgrade to switch it up. Thread each nut on by hand.
Here's the busted one where the gate fell on it. I just got some new struts and these things work really, really well because they're the ones who are completely dead. Really nice company who set them out. I'll leave them linked in the description. If you need to replace yours, cheap little nice fix for when you want to wash your engine bay like mine needs or wrench on it. We do need to get this up on jack stands because we do have to take the front bumper off to take the headlights out. It's not a terrible process taking it off. Bolts are up top. Got some tins. It's a lot easier when you got a semi-clapped, temporarily clapped STI. Let's focus on the headlight. 10, 10, 10, 10. Little support bracket off. Got a big wiring harness plug here. Oh, and check out the bolster. How nice is that organized? Top of the bumper, headlight. You're in engine bay view. Get that big plug off and that's it. Right here is the big plug for the other side. Plastic clip tool. Just needed to apply some pressure is all. So in the kit, you've got some wires. Not stressful at all, they make it super easy. But this 15 fuse, this one right here, we're gonna remove it. It's already got 15s in it. This is an Adafuse adapter. We can run this down here. And this is what's gonna power our daytime running light, both of them on this. We got one that goes to the far side of the car and one that goes to this close one. I'm gonna show you from the start on the other side, I'm mocking this one up. Yep, we have the blinker and everything, awesome. So the blinker taps into this harness down here and this part can go into your fog light. This is why you leave the plastic on because I just tapped it. So there's a yellow wire coming out the bottom and that goes to this adapter, pretty slick. They really set us up nice. Let's start from the get-go on this side. Take my wires, set them where I want them to be, kind of set the headlight here and then I'm gonna carefully sneak up the headlight into position. Find its happy place. Grab the bracket. Go up to my bolster, start putting things in by hand. This yellow wire, we're gonna run down below. Here's my wire right here. This is a HKS oil cooler. This is actually one of the first prototypes. They're located here in AZ now. If you've been here for this whole car, you'll remember. This is where we take our plug and play adapter, connect it to our fog light. Then we need a steering wire here. So I see a spot where we can send the yellow wire. Yellow wire. Come here, little buddy. Once I get this through, I'm gonna plug it into the adapter. Tuck this back in here, out of the way. And then we have the power for our accessory. And then we can connect these to the main harness. Clip it together. Let's make sure this one turns on. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna do some wire tucking. Wire off the side, tucked underneath here with zip ties, out of the way. Wire comes up here, zip tied the excess right here, comes through here, out of the way of the hood latch. Zip tied real tight there, goes across right here behind. Now I just gotta dial that in at the end. All right, everything's back together. Wire spits out right here, can't really see it. Zip tied, tucked under here, super simple. All tools are out of here, check. Ah, the black housing does hit different, but with the color change I wanna go on this car, it's gonna look good. Sweet. Check my blinkers. 
Nice. All right, let's check this thing out at nighttime. Here's our nighttime look. That's a sweet looking headlight. Got the nice ambers on the side. Head to the rear. Comment down below, do you like how these look front and back? Maybe you only like one or the other. But these do come with a warranty. They do feel really solid in person, good quality. You know a lot of aftermarket headlights and taillights can be a little iffy. Sometimes there's the Amazon specials, but these are really nice. I'm really stoked how they came out. And they look super cool in the car. Hopefully this video will help you pick which ones you want as far as the clear or the black housing and such. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one right here where we install a really loud intake on the Supra we got going on right now. The series, really fun video, sounds super cool. One of the more fun modifications I've done in a while. See you over there.